I get told so much as a beauty influencer that an older woman cannot wear highlighter and I say bollocks to that. I don't believe that for a minute. I believe that any woman of any age can wear anything she wants to begin with. I don't think anybody should dictate to another person. However, I did have one of you subscribers bring up a very interesting comment to me on highlighters and that was, can you please tell us the why, the where, and the how? So I'm gonna do that for you today. I'm gonna break it down, tell you one, why you might want to be using highlighter, two, where you would be placing that highlight, highlighter, and three, how you would be placing that highlighter. Really quickly, I'm gonna just show you my shirt and my jewelry. We do that every time on this channel. Okay, my shirt has a lot going on with it today, but I still think it's a really cute shirt. It is a cold shoulder that has, well, it's not really cold shoulder because that would be, you know, off the shoulder kind of thing, but I love that it has these ties right here on it. I love the length of its tunic length and then the crisscross right here. And then on the back, it has another tie back there. I just think that it's really cute. And then I just paired it with a pair of my compression pants. I've talked to you about these forever. They just hold you in if you ever have any problems with blood clots or if you want super tummy control. This is an amazing pair of leggings. And this pair is in brown. I've got them in black and gray and blue, I think I have them in. So love those. First of all, let's talk about the why you might want to use some highlighter. You might feel like your face, face is a little bit flat. Right now, I don't have any blush or highlighter on. That's gonna come as I'm doing the tutorial. But for me, when I don't have highlighter on, I feel a little bit like something is missing. Like my face is not quite as bright. And I love the fact that when I turn my cheeks like this, or turn my head, not turn my cheeks, but when I turn my head, then you can see that little bit of reflect on the cheek area. Now, a lot of people, they love to do down their nose. I'm not somebody that does that. I personally just feel like it just draws too much attention to my nose. I'm not somebody that does the contour or anything like that. For one thing, my head, my hands aren't steady enough to do it and it always just ends up looking like racing stripes and it looks mottled. So I just kind of stay away from it. But for me, highlighter and the why is because I feel like it gives such a beautiful candlelight glow to my skin. Now I do hear a lot of women talk about the fact that they feel like it shows up their texture. Now that might be that you're using a product that's not quite as smooth or it might be one that you're using a product that has glitter in it. If I buy a highlighter and I get it home and it has glitter in it, it's either going straight back to the store or it's going in the trash because I just can't wear glitter on my cheeks at all. It's gonna to bring too much attention to my large pores and usually that's the problem we have as mature women. We have larger pores than the younger girls that have such smooth, beautiful skin. But when you use a product that's right, then you can definitely tell a difference. I'm gonna share with you two today. I'm gonna to use one on this side and then I'll use the other one on this side. Drugstore and high end. This one is called More Than a Highlighter and like this is called Supreme Rose Beam from Catrice. And this is a very, very, very soft, beautiful, sorry about the stuff on my hands here. So what this is, is it has just a beautiful glow to it absolutely no glitter, absolutely no chunky feel to it. It's just very smooth. And then also the one from Rare Beauty, these are the ones that she just came out with not very long ago. And I wanted to share that one with you too, because this is probably the smoothest highlighter that is high end that I have ever, ever seen. And it is pretty. I am interested in getting probably the one that has a little bit of rose in it, whereas this one is the super white one. Also, when you're using tools, that can make a difference too. So if you decide that you don't want a lot of highlighter on, then you're gonna wanna use a really airy brush. And I like using a fan brush that is super, not stiff at all, just super light and super soft. If you want a little bit more of an intense highlighter, then you can use a brush like this one from Refer, and this is the 18. And by the way, Refer is having a sale right now, so that's fun too. All right, now here comes the wear. When you're putting on your highlighter, like I said, I stay away from, you know, down my nose. If you're somebody that likes it, go for it. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it. If you like highlighter down your nose, 
by all means, go right ahead and do it. And I really do feel like you can decorate your face however you want to. I'm gonna be using the fan brush for purposes of this video because I just love how thin it is. There's one of my hairs in it. I just love how thin and how airy it is. You can see right there how thin it is. So I don't know if I can find this brush or not, but I will look and see if I can find one very comparable to it. All right, so this is the Catrice one, and you're just gonna rub that little brush into it. And you can do both sides if you want to. I'm not going to, because I'm gonna use the other side for the Rare Beauty highlighter that we're gonna use. So this is before your blush goes on. And the reason is, is because the highlighter on top of the blush may show texture if you have large pores, but under the blush, it creates magic. Get the hair out of the way. I'm gonna put that highlighter almost from the outside of my eye and up. And you can go up into your temple if you want to, because I do wear blush up there, but it's usually just from like the corner of the eye or a quarter of the eye and then on out. And you can put it all over this cheek area if that's what you wanna do. Now, as I'm just working that around, can you see that I'm kind of rubbing it on there a little bit? I kind of like the little stippling action that I do. Now, can you see how pretty that is? It's just beautiful. Let's switch over to the Rare Beauty one. Let's do this other side. I'm gonna turn the brush over and this is gonna pick up quite a bit more. So what I'm gonna do, because this is a softer product than the Catrice, is I'm just gonna tap it into my hand a little bit. And then I'm gonna do this cheek right here. Just stipple it across there. So here we go again, and you can see that you can go clear up on the top of the cheek, and then you can, if you want the whole entire cheek to glow, go for it, it's your cheek. You can decorate it however you want to. It just depends on what you feel like. Now look at that glow on both of them. They both gave just a beautiful, beautiful glow. Now I would normally put a little bit of highlighter on my Cupid's bow, but I've already done my lipstick and I had forgotten to do that. But one of the things that I do like to do is that inner corner highlight. And I do that as a strategic way to bring more light to that area. I'm just using a flat paddle brush or a flat, this is probably more like a concealer type brush that you're used to seeing, that's what we used to use. So I'm just going to barely dip down in there because I don't wanna get carried away with this inner eye highlight. So again, I'm just going to lay it down and then push it just up a little bit towards the rest of the eye so you can bring the light towards the eye a little bit too, so you're blending all of your eyeshadow. Okay, we'll use the other one from Catrice on this eye since we did do that cheek. Just put a little bit on your brush and then go ahead and just lay it in there. That's all I do. And then I just push it up towards the rest of the eyelid. Again, you can see how that creates just a pretty little glow right there in the inner corner. Now, if you want to, you can hit your eyebrow right there. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It just depends on the mood I'm in. A lot of people love that highlighter look right there on the eyebrow. I like to do it after there's not very much product on my brush. You might like a lot more product to make that look a lot more glowing and make your eye look a little bit more lifted. It's completely up to what you like. Okay, so I put on the highlighter. Now I'm going to take a blush from ColourPop from their Super Shock line. This is a matte blush and I did that on purpose. And I wanna say it's called like G2 or 626 or something like that. Put it up on the screen for you guys. I'm using an angled stipple brush. And here's what happens. When you put the blush over top of it, then you kind of tone down the contour, or contour, I'm sorry, the highlighter, and you just make your blush and your highlighter seamlessly go together. Blush should be about halfway. You shouldn't start it on the apples of your cheeks like this. You wanna definitely start from the outside and then pull it up. And you can, like I was talking about, you can bring it up into the temple area. And a lot of people right now, it's the craze to kind of go up underneath the eye a little bit. I'm not real crazy about that. Not only does it kind of make me look a little bit more red and I you know, have enough redness on my face that I try to cover, but I also feel like it lifts my concealer a little bit and I have hard enough time with concealer to be messing with it like that. So let's do this side. So again, I'm gonna start right there in that middle part and just stipple and pat that blush on. You can hit your nose if you want to with your blush a little bit. 
go across your chin and then I do a little bit across my forehead. Just seems to make the look kind of come together and it's just a pretty way for you to brighten up your face. You could take the remnants of what is on your fan brush. You could go right there in the middle. You could go down your nose right there on your chin. See, when you do that and there's hardly any product on there, the nose highlight doesn't get so intense. That blush was a matte blush on purpose. It was a cream to powder blush on purpose as well. But look, you can still see my glow. Do you see that? You can still see that highlighter through there, but it's softened. So it's not quite as attention grabbing and your face will just look dewy and glowy instead of like bam highlighter in your face where it's really super beaming at you. So really simple and really easy. And so the why was because we might want a little extra glow added to our face. The wear was, you know, starting right here from the outside of the eye and up the cheek as much as you want. And the how was using the right tools, a fan brush, and then the other trick of putting your blush on top of it. And you have just a beautiful finished look. I did have a little bit of bronzer on to begin with. So I hope that you did enjoy this quick tutorial. I hope that it was something that re you really got a lot of benefit out of. If you did, I hope that you do decide to subscribe today. And also my regular subscribers, thank you so much for being here with me. You know how much I love and adore each and every one of you. Please take care of yourselves, everyone. Come back around really soon, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Bye-bye.